Goose farming technology. To maintain the sustenance and the number of the geese, the workers are assigned a task for reproduction. It is also ensured that geese receive timely grains and water. Similarly, to determine the breed of each goose, the eggs are categorized by assigning them distinct numbers and then are placed in the steam section for the early rise from the eggs. After the completion of around 35 or more days, the baby goose emerges from the eggshell. Then each goose belonging to a particular breed is specified by making various classifications. Additionally, with their rising age, the geese are taken out from the sections for the provision of sunlight and towards the tubes where they love to swim and bathe. The geese are provided with fresh grasses and the workers make every possible effort to provide them with a comfortable environment. It is guided that the breeders should be at least one year of age. Then these would be perfect for the mating process. If the geese are kept and bred, then these become capable of breeding at an age of 10 years. But on the other side, a large number of the geese are slaughtered to ensure the supply of their meat in the market, while their offspring are kept for breeding, and the same cycle continues with the others too, depending on their age. For geese, it's normally at 9, 15 or 20 weeks of age. If you try to process between these windows of opportunity, you'll encounter large numbers of pin feathers that may double or triple your processing time and effort. This is how the collection of their eggs is done, where a worker finds the eggs under the grasses laid in the section and places them in the carrier vehicle. Keep watching, there's more to come. Goose Meat Processing. The meat arrives fresh, pierced and clean from feathers. Therefore, the workers are waiting for their job of cleaning the meat by pulling out goose lungs and placing them in separate packages. The lungs are then carried by the escalator to the workers. Simultaneously, the meat is also escalated and the ones with the detection of low quality are parted and skipped by the escalator, while the ones passing the quality test are tied with rubbers by the workers with manual selection and placed in the tray for further processing.
The goose has a very unique cutting style, whose entire body is fitted in a shaft, and then it rotates to the cutting worker, which pierces the meat from various places, while this technique makes the cutting process smoother than placing it in the tray does. Ultimately, each part of the body is separated in a box, and the farm is able to supply the desired and demanded part of the body as per the needs of its customers. As you've seen in the video, the entire process is dependent solely on mechanical functioning. Thus, the adoption of such technology enables the farm to do their operations more productively. Feather Processing The feathers of geese are used as raw material and are used for the manufacturing of pillows and mattresses. The process goes with the injection of feathers in a vacuum glass, which is followed by a great compressive air, with a great propensity of air, which in return flows the feathers in the glass. This is done to smoothen the feathers, which will make the sleeping experience more flexible. The heavier structure of feathers can provide a pillow with better support for longer. However, the quill may also literally stick out of the pillow shell and poke you, causing discomfort. And the more feathers you lose, the more support you lose, negatively impacting the longevity of your pillow over time. Most feather pillows will have some small amount of down, just to give the pillow a bit of loft. The more down a pillow contains, the more expensive it will be. The finest feather stuffed pillows contain a mixture of three-fourths goose or waterfowl down and one-fourth goose feathers. Goose feathers alone, or a mixture of goose and duck feathers, can also make fine fillings for pillows. Down alone does not have the needed ability to hold up under weight. Chicken and turkey feathers also make poor stuffing for pillows. They're stiff, hard, heavy, and have little bounce. 